Now, just before Christmas, 14-year-old Emma Sloan was in town with her family and ate satay sauce. She had an acute allergic reaction and the family went to a pharmacy where they were not given the EpiPen they needed but instead were sent to the emergency department. Well, Emma died moments later on the street. Well, her mother Caroline has now launched a campaign to make sure that this can never happen again. And Caroline joins me now. Caroline, thank you very much indeed for coming in to us this morning. Um, can I take you back, first of all, to the day that this all happened, had you known that Emma had this, this acute peanut allergy? <clears throat> we knew she had an allergy. We didn't know how severe it was. She had been to our ladies twice with, and um, sent home a prescription and a pen. And a pen. So she did have an EpiPen, but yeah. you didn't realise yeah. that it was bad enough yeah. to have to carry it? No. So what happened on the day? You went to, it was a Chinese restaurant? Uh, yeah, it was a Chinese restaurant in town. We went in and um, she mistakenly ate satay sauce. And after a few minutes, our lips were tingling. So we said, we better go get her to the hospital. Brought her to the hospital. I brought her around the corner. We got to the corner and um, she was gasping for breath, gasping. And I went into the chemist and I asked him for the EpiPen and it was refused. He told me to take her to a &E. And by the time we got across the road to the corner, she was dead. That quickly it happened? And obviously uh, Emma had no notion that she should be carrying her EpiPen with her, that she... Well, you see, secured. it all goes back to, I think, the education and information that's given out on these allergies. And we got none. We never even got the results of Emma's allergy test. We were never referred on to a specialist. We were sent to a dietitian who told her not to eat nuts. So I think this campaign is all about education and information. Um, getting ID, some form of ID, for kids with allergies, everyone with allergies, and for getting these pens made more freely available. Mm. Because, I mean, there's one allergy specialist, Dr. Uh, Professor Houlihan, he covers, he's the leading allergy specialist in Ireland and England. Based in Cork, And he's the he? only one based in Cork. Now, to say that there's three children's hospitals in Dublin and there's not an allergy specialist in one of them is beyond mm. belief. And that, that day that the, the, the pharmacist didn't give out a, a, an EpiPen, he was clearly saying you needed a prescription for this, that he was not in a position to give it out. Yeah, he said I needed a prescription, but there is a law in place that we can dispense in an emergency, but he didn't even assess the situation. So Did he see Emma? I can't. Emma was outside. Emma was outside. And I went and told him what was happening, but no, nothing. Um, just didn't assess the situation, basically. And um, even at that point, the worst I was thinking was Emma would be in hospital for Christmas. I just didn't even know it could kill her. I just didn't know. You know, I know people to probably say, my God, how could you not know that? But when I started this campaign, I was saying people must say, God, she's an awful fool. But from parents that I've spoken to and families that I've spoken to, they've never been given the information and education that they need to keep their kids alive, which is, you know. So nobody ever told you about the possibility of a, of a lethal anaphylactic no. shock? No. So you thought at most it's going to be tingling lips? Our and lips would smell. Maybe a bit of difficulty breathing for a yeah. short period of time. She had asthma, Emma, and she had eczema and she had hay fever. So all and the allergy yeah, related she had issues. all these things like and we had a treatment for her for all these things and she never went anywhere without her inhaler um she was so careful herself you know it was just i say everything went against us that night everything you know just everything went against us can you even believe that happened no no i sit and i talk about it and it's like i'm talking about someone else's life like, it's not my life. It's like I'm talking about, I'm telling you about someone else now. To, you know, mm. it's still not real. Like, it was five months today before yesterday. And I just say in another month, it's going to be half a year. And then it's going to be a year. And then it's, and it's still just unbelievable. And I presume, Caroline, part of beginning to, to cope with this is this campaign to, to protect other children. <sighs> Yeah, well, I kind of have to channel my energy into something, my mm. anger into something positive. Because if I don't, I don't know where I'll end up. Mm. Um, so it's just really anger and determination that's keeping me going right now. 
I'm waiting for answers, it's still waiting, you know, you're waiting for the coroner, you're waiting for um, the pharmaceutical society, you're waiting, you're just waiting for answers and you're waiting and it could be years waiting before you get the answers that you need. Mm. The coroner's yeah. court will, will come up soon. On the campaign, what exactly are you looking for with regards to EpiPens? These um, are the adrenaline yeah. containing Yeah, we're looking pens. for them to be made a lot more freely available. Um, in schools, restaurants, crashes, anywhere there's food, kids, pe not just kids, like, I mean, these yeah. allergies can come on people and they don't even know they have them, you know, it, is, it can just come on at any time. Yeah, I so, mean, I was looking yeah. up, I had no idea that that could happen, yeah. that it could, yeah. you could suddenly develop an allergy yeah. and not oh, yeah. know that you yeah. had it. And I mean, 25% of the population have allergies, so you it's know, a significant so it's health really problem. high, yeah. Really high. So a bit like a defibrillator, the way you'd see them hanging in restaurants or workplaces yeah. that should be EpiPens hanging. That should, yeah. And um, Professor Houlihan from Cork um, done an interview last week in the paper and um, he said that even if someone mistakenly took, say they thought you were in anaphylactic shock and you weren't, mm. um, even if you're given this pen, it won't harm you. It won't kill you or it won't do anything. You know, they're harmless. like. So I don't see why But they so could save lives. They certainly could have saved Yeah, Emma's Well, it would have saved Emma's life. Something as simple you know? as a, a cheap pen, a cheap injection of adrenaline. Yeah. And, I mean, are people listening to you? Are the Department of Health listening to you? Well, 30,000 people have signed a petition in a month. So someone is listening. Um, I'm finding it very hard to get in touch with the politicians at the moment because of the well, elections. The elections, yeah. yeah. Um, Frances Fitzgerald, I know, promised an investigation. She came to Emma's funeral, promised an investigation at the time of her death, and it has, it has come to nothing. Well, I I've suppose it is only five her, months. I've emailed her, um, oh, and I've had no response from her, so I don't know where that's at at the minute. Um, I'm just waiting to see who gets elected, and then I'm going to push this further. But you're launching the, the campaign anyway. Yeah. Yeah. And so th the that's campaign is ongoing, like we're out and we're looking for signatures and um, we went down to the Aviva last week to the Liverpool and Shamrock Rovers match and we got 6,000 signatures. Right. We got 8,000 at Croke Park a couple of weeks before. So we're doing very well. You're doing very well. And how are you doing? Um, I'm just going, you know, you just keep going. You don't stop. I never stop. Never sit down. I clear and I just, you know, I don't stop to think. Just keep. Well, listen, Caroline, I mean, thank you very much indeed for coming in to us this morning and the very best of luck with that me. campaign. Thank you. We'll, we'll keep in touch with you over the course of the campaign yeah. and see how it goes. Thank you, Caroline. Thanks. Now, just on that interview we did with Caroline Sloan about her 14-year-old daughter, Emma, who died of anaphylactic shock, Caroline is looking for signatures for an online petition to ensure the easy availability of EpiPens to make sure this never happens to anyone else. The website is www.gopetition.com forward slash petitions forward slash Emma's voice. And on Facebook, they have a page and that page is called Emma's Voice. And as I say, Caroline is looking for signatures there.